journey to school. Show us around the den. Okay. I don't like even it. know where the places of the den are either, so I'll like to find out. It's our swinging bit. Yeah. Where the little branch is grown. Yeah. Anything and else? And stand here is somewhere to put the bag. And around here is the way out. Okay. What sort of things do you learn in your school? Maths, science, history, art, P, ICT, reading. Do you go and play with your friends that live in Buckland? Yes. Because, yes, because I, one day I went to play with Renee. Which family members live in Buckland? Nanny and Grando with Sparky, Auntie Emma, Granny, Nanny up the road. So there's lots of people and lots of stuff you can see and do in Buckland? Yes. What do you like about Buckland? Well, I can go and see relatives. That's on Stephen's side. What do you like I, doing in Buckland? I like talking to the family members. I like doing the activities that Heather has up school. I like playing in the park with Heather. Well, you don't actually play. You just watch me play. Yeah. There's lots of fun things to do. Most thing we like to do is go on the slide. It's really fun. And there's a seesaw, which is really fun because it goes up and down. Whee! Hello! And there's swings for babies, which are quite safe. And they're fun because the parents can push the little baby and and there's one for bigger children and there's some swings for bigger children which look really fun and there's a pole which you can slide down climbing and going up the pole and down the pole and that's what Buckland is all about You nearly fell on me then. Oh. Hey then. Done. Also, you like to play in our other den. The one that you've just seen was the newest den, and this is the oldest one. Well, no fool, Leon. Well, are you right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. What we like doing when we were young. What did you like doing when Hello. you were young? Hello. What's your name? Mrs. Elliot. My name is Hayden. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is it alright if we ask you some questions? Yes. 
If you had a time machine, where would you go back in that I wouldn't go back anywhere. I like where I am. What was your best experience in Buckland? I don't know, lots of things. I mean, um, in the beginning when I lived here, it was a lot quieter. You didn't have so many cars and not so many houses. What games did you play when you were young? Basically, all the children played together. We did dressing up as well. Any old clothes that we could find, we did dressing up and playing. Um, acting out plays and things like that in front of the parents. We used to get the parents to come sit in the gardens on a nice day and we used to put on little shows for them. Um, a bit like a pantomime really, but we had great fun. Um, we used to go up to the woods quite a lot and we used to build dens in amongst the ferns and just basically play outside. So that was the fun that we had when we were growing up. Um, thank you. That's okay, that's you're more than welcome. We used to play a lot outside because we didn't have any reason to stay inside because we didn't have a television. We only had a radio, so we used to go and make our own fun. We used to do a lot of dressing up and things like that and skipping, um, hot scots on the playground on the pavements. Um, we used to go car number spotting, you know, getting the number plates of the cars bird watching, all that sort of thing. Just the usual sort of thing, and building dens, that's what we used to like doing. And another thing all the boys on the estate used to love doing was to get the old pram wheels and make a trolley. And they used to go whizzing down over the hills. <laughs> they used to crash at the bottom though, because they didn't have any brakes on it. It was Rio, and this is what the houses looked like in Buckland. Some. Some of the driveways have stones, but others have grass or concrete. The back gardens look like the back gardens are very big and people can play in them. So we play su things such as football, it, or play on the trampoline. Or this is what the, the back gardens look like in Buckland. There's a lot of space, um, so we, so that means we can play football and it and hide and seek and play games. But my favourite game is football. <laughs> they like pretty patterns on the walls. They like candles to make it cosy, like big sofas, and like and um, ornaments on the sides and clocks to tell the time. And um, lots of photos for memories. And comfy cushions on the on the floor as well, and that's like all the people like things in the houses. How many years have you lived in Buckland? About well, thirty-five, and I've lived about four years before in the sixties. What did the world used to look like? What did the world used to look like? Well, well the road. Well, well, when I moved here first, there wasn't a lot of these houses wasn't, wasn't up. But then I moved away and when I came back it was all built up. But a lot of houses wasn't here when I um, when I moved in up here in the very beginning in the sixties. This, your school was very, very new then. I've got another one. Where is your favourite place in Buckland? Well, I love where I live in Sandringham Road. And I love coming to this centre, meeting friends. And I like to do Buckland's to play football in my back garden, which is having work done to it. Up here is where we need to grow, um, grow some grass for the summer and Spatio needs to have lots of slabs on the on this flat surface 
to play games as well, such as hide and seek. And we've got a massive bush here which, which separates the houses. because it's a handy place to live. You've got a supermarket down the road, you've got a park for the kids, you've got a school three minutes away and you've got the shops three or four minutes away. So it's a very, very uh, handy place to live. Hello, we're here with Pauline Freeman and Pauline Chaplin and we're going to be asking them some questions about Buckland. Okay. Pauline, how long have you worked in this shop? I've worked here for 13 years. How long have you worked in this shop? Uh, four weeks, nearly. <laughs> what are the people like? They're very nice. We've got some lovely customers. Yeah, very polite, very nice people. I've got loads of customers that have been here for a long, long time. How long have you lived on Buckland? I've lived on Buckland since I was five. And that's a long time, and I'm not telling you how long. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived on Buckland for 21 years. My name is Kira, what's yours? Pauline Mead. Is it alright if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, of course. Um, what place in Buckland made you happy? I think this community centre mm -hmm. uh, had a lot to do with it. Uh, you know, the youth club for a long while and also the schools, because I was a dinner lady, both mm -hmm. schools, and, and uh, one of the governors, so I had happy years there as well. What, was there any favourite clubs in Buckland? Clubs, well the youth club of course was very good. Mm. Like dancing clubs or singing clubs or swimming clubs? Well they did dance and sing. Mm. You know, the youth club, they had the side room there as the, as the disco. Yeah they did. Didn't they? No. Yeah. And also, there used to be um, brownies and guides here. Um, yes, I think there's, there's lots of people around, there's lots of like, people get involved in the community and there's families and things up here, so yeah, it could be a good place to live because I've, I don't live here because I work on the estate here as a youth worker and you know, it's, it's something that I think everybody sort of gets involved. Do you like I think Buckland is a good place, yeah, absolutely, because there's so many people, there's so many different people and stuff here that, you know, that you can get loads of different activities going on, you have loads of different friendships and loads of different groups working together, so yeah, I think it's a good place to be. What kind of cars were there? And how much? I'll let you answer that one. What kind of cars were there and how much? In, yes, when we first came up here. Yeah. Very few cars. And was Buckland a safe place? I think Buckland's always been a safe place. Uh, I've never been afraid to let my children out to play. Other than the fact you've got to watch the dangers on the roads, haven't you? With the cars, because there's more traffic on the road now than when I first came up here. Because there's obviously more houses been built recently as well, hasn't it? So we've got a lot more traffic, so that's you know, that's only not so many dangerous bit of it. Is if when children are out, out playing, they have gotta be aware that they, they just can't they just can't wander into the road. until the doctor's surgery. So the doctor's surgery has now been on this estate 20 years. So I would say about 25 years ago, we had up to 25 years ago, the police house there. Did you have a doctor's surgery? No, that's 
why the, we didn't have a doctor's surgery. And then when the police house came vacant, that's when they decided that it would be a good place to put the doctor's surgery there. Um, why have you stayed in Buckland? Because where I live in Buckland, it's a nice quiet area. It's got lovely views of the wall. And I've got nice neighbours. So I'm very happy to live there. Well, what would you do to make Buckland better? What would I do to make Buckland better? Well, I'd get the, the roads retired. There's a lot of potholes now, isn't there? And I would get the lights put back on the streets, night times. They, they go off too early for me. They should leave some on all the time. Because people go to work, people go to work late in the night. They come home from work late in the night, early morning. So they need gardens. Because not everybody's got cars. Um, the one thing I would like is everybody taking pride in their gardens. Because people don't bother with their gardens, now, do they? Yeah. Yeah. When I was your age, I'm at the school, um, bigger school than this one. But when I was your age, we didn't have any central heating at home. Now you've all got central heating at home I expect. My friend's boiler. My friend's mum's boiler. It yeah. broke yesterday. Did it? So they had a cold night last night. But they went home and they got for a bath. Right, well that's good. When I was your age we didn't have any central heating. So in the winter when it was cold like it is now, we got frost on our windows on the inside of the windows beautiful patterns, fern-like patterns, but the ice was so thick that if it was on the ground, you could skate on it. And that was inside the bedroom when you were asleep at night because you, the air you breathed out produced water vapor and it froze on the windows. And that was really cold, really cold. And I don't suppose many of you have a bath at night in an in a iron bathtub in the living room in front of the fire but I used to have that Monday nights whether I wanted one or not I would have the metal bath brought out put in front of the fire in the living room and I got in there and had a bath mum would wash me down and have a bath and listen to a radio a wireless program a wi because radios were called wirelesses in those days a wireless program called Journey into Space if, yeah, if you lived in Buckland would it be a good to be. Yeah, I think it would be because I think it's a place where it's like like a hub uh, within the within the community. So you know, not just the elderly come down, not just the young people that I work with come down here, but the elderly can come down here. People who are looking for work, looking for different jobs. Uh, it could be a space where different clubs can come, whether it's sports clubs like football or table tennis or something like that, where uh, and then they have um, a tea dance or something like that, or, or things like that can, can also take place. You know? yeah. Do you like the kids' club dance? Do you enjoy like all the football table dance? I think if you've got things that are fun and exciting and interesting and stuff happening, doesn't matter how old you are and stuff like this, that you're going to come. So I mean, you could be interested in doing sports or sort of things. Somebody else might be interested in doing artwork, and and the more those exciting things happen, the more young people come down, and the more they learn about their own community, about more friends, getting to know more people. I think it's really important. So, um, and the same can be said for the elderly. Isn't it? There are some elderly who like playing darts, so there's a darts group that runs here. There are some people who like playing bingo. What do you do in Buckland, Miss Mason? Sorry? What, do I... what did you do in Buckland? What did I do? What do I do now? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I work part-time, and um, I work for a nursing agency which means I go around to people's houses and um, I help people, maybe I help them have a shower or I might cook them a meal and um, make sure they take their medication and any other help that they need, things that they can't do themselves anymore. 
My name's Mark Gerry. I'm uh, the area youth worker here in the, the youth My name's Hayden. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'll be asking some questions. Yeah, sure. No um, if you had a time machine, where would you go back? Uh, I don't know. And if you're thinking in the context, I suppose, of the youth club, I, I, I've spoken to quite a few people um, who used to be here. And back in the 1970s, it's when it first opened, it was really, really busy. You had lots of young people coming down into the centre, were being run by like the local community people. So lots of community going on. So uh, it was always very busy. So I'd like to come back and see that really happening, just to see it really, really live and loads of different activities. Did you go to Buckland? Well, because I, I, I didn't go to Buckland School because it, was, it wasn't built when I was young. I went to Highwick School, which is in Coronation Road in Newton Abbey. Do you know Highwick School? Um, that's where I used to go to school. Um, but my children came here because we moved into Buckland uh, when they were very young. And of course this is the school that they started. But my lad now is now already, uh, nearly 60, so you can tell how long ago that was, can't you? I don't want to ask. No. What, what would you do to make Buckland better? Oh, make, make a better entrance to Buckland, make it more amenable for people to be able to get backward and forward from Newton Abbott, because it is a long way into Newton Abbott um, from Buckland. Did I tell you why they built the bridge? Do you know why they built that bridge? Well, how do people. What's down the bottom of it? The road. Uh, the motorway, isn't it? Yeah, and the lake. When, yeah, when was the motorway built? Uh, we have no idea. Well, I'll tell you, it was 1975. Now, how long ago was that? That was a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. 37 years ago. How many? 37. That's right, that's how long ago. Well, um, at that time, when it was. It, when it was first built, yep. there was no motorway. You couldn't get in from Newton Abbott to over to here, but except for walking all the way around. Um, and that, as I say, that was a long way. You could were beginning to walk across that motorway, and um, three people were killed walking across that motorway. And then they, you know, they thought, well, this is getting terrible, and they decided then to build the uh, the bridge. A lot of people were asking for it. But they couldn't get anyone to build it. But they did eventually because because they thought the well, three lives are enough to lose for it. What we like doing on the weekend? We like playing football. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Ball. That's an Hayden. <laughs>
today we're here, we're interviewing Mrs. Davy and she's lived on Buckland Estate for 61 years. Is it alright if you ask some questions? Yes. So I'm taking a video all the way around, I'm going all the way around, and there's Yasmin, and Yasmin's got a smile and a wave. Oh yeah, thank you very much, and there's Kiki with a smile and a wave, and then we get to Kiki, and there's Kiki, oh my goodness gracious, and there's Kiki. Alright? Okay. Okay. And there's Robert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say cheese. Cheese. This is Chloe Bell and she's going to tell you all about Buckland! Yeah! Well, but as you can see, Buckland is a very nice place to so, live. Yeah! I wanted to tell you a bit more, but time's going on, so see ya! Hi, my name is Renee. Hi, my name is Chloe. Hello, my name is Robert. Hi, my name is Lewis. Hello, my name's Hayden. Hello, my name's Lee. Hello, I'm Maddie. And I'm Heidi. Hello, my name's Paris. <laughs> Hello, my name's Tyler. Hello, my name's Chris. And my name's Heather. Hello, my name's Summer, and this is Beth. Hello, my name is James, and I'm Luke. Hello, my name is Louis, and I'm Rio. I'm Jamie, and I'm Harry. My name is Amelia. My name is Noah. My name is Kira. My name is Damien. We Google. 